lost the vibes. Uh, I've done it last year. I'm just doing this year as well. Uh, it's been really good. Um, kind of ideas, giving them good vibes. Love it. Uh, I just came to do my thing. So I'm saying, everyone's done their thing, giving their part. I'm just doing my thing. I'm just doing my thing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no. Hey, we are well aware of your track. Back to the future. Yeah, it's called Take You to the Future, actually. <laughs> Take you yeah. to the future. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, Take You to the Future has been out for a bit now, it's on iTunes. The um, song's really just about, um, it's really about us, us as a church moving forward. Things are going to change now, things are changing, you know what I'm saying? And it's all about us going into um, new arenas and new parts of the world, you know what I'm saying? To do what we do best. Which is our uh, presenting our gifts, our arts, and our crafts. You know what I'm saying? And hoping others come to Christ as well. You know what I mean? So um, that's really what the song is about now. Just moving forward. It's just about different, different kind of issues. You know what I'm saying? Like, like different lyrics. I said things like, um, if you don't make sense, it don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, from a business perspective, you know what I mean? It's for that. It's different kind of people, aspects, different kind of people, different kind of backgrounds can actually take something from it. So if you don't make sense, if you don't make sense, it don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? From a business. Mine. You know what I'm saying? We need to go now and make money. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah. Okay, um, there seems to be a bit of a mixtape culture at the moment. What? Like, a mixtape culture. Like, everyone's putting out free projects. Do you feel any, do you feel any pressure, like, to put out something? Or is it nothing for you to do, like, you know? Nah, I, I believe in my music, and I believe that my music's like, good enough that I can go away for that like, five years and come back and drop something, and it will still be what I'm saying. That's the kind of gift that I believe I have. And I'm not, I'm not, I've never been the kind of person to jump on the bandwagon. If everyone's doing free mixtape, I'm not a mixtape person. Whenever I, I've always been more of a commercial artist. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I've never really been a mixtape kind of person. I'm a producer as well. People forget that I'm a producer. Okay, so I'm more or less producing other people's mixtapes rather than putting that one myself and joining the bandwagon. So mixtape's not really my thing, but when I do drop my music, you know what I'm saying? Everyone will know. We will really that standard. You know what I'm saying? It will stand out as well. So I don't. I've never felt pressure to do that. Just for. You know what I mean? That's not me, man. Yeah. Okay. So, Emma, um, what do we have to look out for at the moment? Like, is there anything you're working on? Um. Yeah, definitely working on my next album. Um, first album in my world. Go get that on iTunes. Um. Yeah, you can get it on VictorZoneMusic.com as well. My second album definitely. In the works, producing for more people, more new up and coming artists. So I'm saying, and at the same time, trying to get the foot through the industry. So, yeah, um, yeah I'll just say, watch this space, really. Okay, just a quick question to close up. With all the writing and stuff going on at the moment, like yeah. in different cities, um, I've heard them say, well, the excuse I've heard was um, it's a way of getting a message across. But how do you use, how do you use your voice? How do you make yourself be heard? Violence is never really a way of getting a message across. I just think that kind of is an excuse. But there are some people that have been. I have been um, silent or caged for so long that the only option for them is violence. Do you know what I'm saying? But I, I, there's a lot of opinions on the whole matter of the riots and everything. Do you know what I mean? I'm just doing my part in making the music that I make, helping the people that I can help. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, we, we as the people, we people, we're trying to help the community for years. Do you know what I mean? And I think, um, yeah, the government kind of needs to like, wake up. I just, me personally, I think that the riots was a wake up call for them. For everyone, kind of thing. Giving everyone like a purpose, I guess. Oh, we've got to do this for the people, do you know what I'm saying? So, um, there are a lot of excuses and there are a lot of reasons. But I think everyone needs to put their opinions behind them and just work into a better goal, really. That's it. Okay, <laughs> Thank you. And, oh, thank um, you. How can we get hold of you? Uh, find, you can find my stuff at victorzoomusic.com and uh, 
My YouTube page is the Facebook, Twitter, MySpace. Google me, google.com, Tizzle, this is my Yeah, so internet. So I can't give my number. <laughs> yeah, cool. Thank you guys. Uh, GL 360, is it? Shout out to you guys. Birmingham. Got mad love for Birmingham. Shout out to Roger. Shout out to all you guys here. Do your thing. Cameraman. Craig. <laughs> Craig number two. Shout out to all you that. Take care. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Okay.